Hey everyone, welcome to the UCSF channel. I'm at school right now and I just wanted to show something that's kind of cool. One of the joys of teaching ukulele is when you have students that are so excited about it that one of the things they do is they ask their parents for an ukulele at home. And what's even more fun is when they request one of the ukuleles that you use on a daily basis. So um, I just wanted to show you this really quick because I had not seen one of these and it's something that quite honestly I would normally not buy because it's not my color. But if you've watched this channel, I've had the chance to buy an Enyanova. I was sent an Enyanova to destroy. So if you watch the review of the Enyanova, you'll see all that. And then I was recently sent a Enyanova with the transacoustic pickup, which I still have to uh, make a review for. But um, what I wanted to show you today was this, a student brought in this. This is the pink version of the Enyanova. And again, I would just personally never buy pink. And that's just a personal taste. My son, who's 11, if he would give, be given a choice, he would choose uh, the pink any as well. It looks to me like the actual fretboard markers, again, nothing on the side, are pinkish. The buttons are pinkish. And of course, the body is pinkish. It also comes with a pink strap and then also the, the pink case. And the other thing I just noticed that I have not noticed before is if you look in here in the case, it says Nova. I did not even know that. No, having two black cases didn't even uh, jump out at me. So now you might ask, why did your student bring in your ukulele? Well, first of all, sometimes they bring it in just to help getting tuned the first time because, you know, ukulele strings, they stretch. But this student is a left-handed student, and I give my left-handed students three choices. They can learn how to play right-handed. That's number one. They can uh, flip a right-handed uke and play it with the opposite hand. So they can flip a right-handed uke that way. Now it does, this cutout is, and now again, th this is the only negative about flipping this is when you do that, the cutout is on the wrong side, but it's it's okay. I mean, you can still reach all the strings pretty comfortably. Just that's, that's the danger of a cutout because they don't have a left-handed version. And then the third option is to string it left-handed. And I give my students and their families the opportunity to decide if that's what they want to do. So with this one, my student brought it in, not only for help tuning it up originally, but also um, so that I could switch the strings around so that it could be tuned the opposite way for her. So instead of going GCEA now, and I'm holding it traditionally right-handed, it is now gonna go the other way. And I was able to save the strings, because, and you put enough of a lead on there, that's able to save the strings and not replace them. And if you go the opposite way, so that means if you're gonna make chord shapes, you have to think backwards, sort of like if you were a left-handed playing, a person playing a right-handed ukulele. And it does, you know, sound a little different with uh, strumming this way, but if you're a left-handed person, it's going to sound much better. As usual, set up, impeccable, just a great package, and I just wanted to share that with you today. So that's the Enya Pink Nova that otherwise I normally wouldn't see. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.